Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on photos in Altspace. How to upload some and how to download some that you take, the selfies that you take, the regular camera photos that you take while you're in Altspace. So first of all, a lot of people like to upload their own photographs to populate their world in Altspace. So we're going to go ahead and go through that process right now. So um, first thing I'm going to do is sign into my account. And the very first thing you see up top here when you log in is events, channels, friends, and photos. So we're just going to click on photos. And it shows you all the selfies and all the pictures that you've taken while you were running around alt space, right? And so if, if just for the point, if this is a photograph that you took, like a selfie or a photo that you took in alt space, this is where you find it and this is where you download it. So here's a view of a picture I took looking out the window towards the CEO's BMW. You can click on that, right click, save image as, and save it wherever you want. And that's how we get pictures, the pictures that we take while we're in alt space. Remember, this is the web browser version. You can only do this in the web browser. All right, so let's go back to photos, and now let's upload an image. So right up here it says photos, friends, search my photos, community, whatever. We're going to click the upload button. And then we're going to go over here where it says create photo and we're going to click choose. And I'm going to go into alt space and I'm just going to pick um, uh, this, this second floor plan here. All right. So I'm going to call it floor plan or plan two and I'm not sharing with the community and I'm just saying create photo. There you go. So I already have alt space started over here. So now I'm in alt space. I'm in the Vocker environment. I already have the. Uh, let's turn this off for a sec. All right, so I'm gonna. I'm around the. I'm at the desk. Let me. Let me get around the corner here. Let's find a spot. I'm gonna go over here. This is a good spot to put a picture up. Okay, so I'm looking at this wall. I'm gonna bring up the uh, the world editor, right? And I'm gonna bring up the editor panel, which is the second button, the first button there. And then in Alt Space, there's all these different objects and kits, and we've played around this basketballs and what have you. So we're going to go to mine, and mine means stuff that I've uploaded, right? And in the mine list, there is photos. So if you click on photo, bam, there it is. That's the photo that I uploaded. So just to show you, just to hammer the point home, I'm going to go back to photos. I'm going to upload a new photo, choose the file, and I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to do something very different. Here, this, uh, well, I used all these already. Uh, let's just pick all right, uh, this timeline one. Um, slides, and I'm just going to pick with this picture slide number two. All right, and I'm going to say slide two and create a photo. Must be a big image. Okay, it's uploaded. So now when I go back to all space, we don't see it yet, but I'm going to, I have to refresh. So I'm going to click on the all space one, go back to mine, go back to photos, and there it is. Right, so now place it in image. Click on the image and it appears right here, right next to it. Okay, so this, blue, the green, we've, we've all played with the green box, right? So I'm gonna click on this or the blue box. So, and if we remember, this is how these things work. If you grab the blue box on the edges around these round of these cylindrical grips, that allows you to rotate, right? And the side ones and the up ones, right? And then, let's get a little closer. The circles in the middle, if you grab a circle and you pull back, it makes the image larger and smaller, all right? And if you grab it somewhere not on a circle or not on a cylinder, you can move it. So I'm going to move it to the wall, and I can already see that it's not rotated right. And I could sit here and fudge this forever until I get like the perfect rotation, but that's kind of a pain in the butt. So if you go to the editor panel again, because I have this selected, it will show up in the editor panel as highlighted, right? So I just click on, let me get back a little. Click on the gear that's highlighted, and I'm just going to zero out all the rotations. You can tell it was trying to do zero, zero, zero. So it's, oh, it's trying to do 360. Zero, zero, zero. And if you watch the image, you'll see it sort of change. Confirm. Then you see it sort of pop to a perfect orthogonal. And now I can put it against the wall. And I can scale it the way I want it. And then turn off the editor mode. And now I've installed a painting, a picture. So you can do this all day long and add pictures to your world. I think they recommend you don't put too many, but I've seen people put 30, 40, 50 or so pictures in the world. So I've done plenty. So there it is. That's the process.